There was a dear lady that I once knew. She was in her 80s, and she confided in me in secret that, that she had been in the church, our church, all during her life, from the time that she was a young adult woman. But she had never fully accepted that God loved her. She could accept that God loved others, but she looked at herself in the mirror with all of her faults, and she could not believe or accept that God loved her. Here's what she said. A major turning point in my life came when I realized that being able to trust God is grounded in staking my whole being on the reality that God loves me. Well, I ask you to think about that too. You've heard it said a million times. God loves you. But do you really believe it about you? Can you really accept that? Can you go into your church and know that you're a loved child of God? I pray that you do. In Romans 8, 38 and verse 39, it says, I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. When we worship God with faith and with assurance, when we place God at the absolute center of our lives, we invite God's love into our hearts. Now, I want you to think about that for a moment. Imagine that a circumference is around you. Wherever you go, wherever you find yourself, imagine this circumference, and this is God. And then at the very center of you, at the core of your being of you, imagine God's love pulsating, beating, living, and keeping you alive. Sense God's love directly connected one with you. Grow in God's love and have it form in your awareness more deeply every day. God is love and God's love is perfect. And when you open yourself to God's love, you're touched by the Creator's hand and not only that, you're transformed. Not just for the individual moment or a day, but all eternity. Today, as you carve out quiet moments, quiet moments of thanksgiving, quiet moments of praise for your heavenly God, open yourself to God's presence and to being in the circle of God's love. God is right where you are, waiting. God's love is waiting. God's love is right where you are, available to you right now. Accept it and be blessed by it. God bless you.